Afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this week's interactive newsletter. It's been another fabulous week. I can't believe we are nearly at the end of term. Uh, this week we had sports days, and obviously I was, we were just as disappointed as you that you couldn't come along to watch those, but I hope you had a chance to enjoy the videos and the pictures that Mr Richard shared earlier in the week on this special sports day edition of the newsletter. I know that lots of people have enjoyed looking at those. You, like us, we cannot wait for these restrictions to be lifted. Um, at the moment, as you know from the letter I sent home yesterday, there has been a, a, a rise in cases locally and nationally. And those, that's the reason we've had to make some changes uh, at the last minute for the last few days of school. And we've had to re revert to class bubbles instead of year group bubbles. This is in case, in case we haven't had one yet, but in case we have a positive uh, case of COVID-19, um, then we would only have to, in theory, send the class home and not the whole year group. So we are do we're doing it for the right reasons, but I appreciate it's been a bit different for the children today and i know that you know it's but it's just one of those things that we've had to do uh, and we will do in, until the end of term um i had a, a visit yesterday from councillor nicola clark she emailed the school and asked if she could come and have a look around she's um uh, on, on, obviously on the local council and grew up locally fairly locally she grew up on the ermine estate so she's really keen to come and have a look around the school she was full of praise for the school the environments uh, how professional the staff were, but particularly about the children and how wonderfully they were behaved and she couldn't get over how happy uh, and how happy they looked and how busy they, they looked as well when they're getting on with their learning. So I wanted to share that with you. Unfortunately, um, she did mention an incident um, over the last couple of weeks where we've got some children from the park throwing eggs at some residents at their houses on Swift Gardens. Now, I'm hoping that it's none of our children. Uh, unfortunately, it's likely that there will be some of our children that were there. Uh, one of them was a 70 year old lady who's been really scared by this. So Councillor Clark has asked me to mention this, which of course I, I'm happy to. Um, please have a word with the children. I will on in assembly on Monday about being respectful and about making the right choices. Um, really, really important. And I know that I can count on your support with this. Uh, and following that, I'd like to give an example of where children have been really respectful and really helpful. Mrs. Barrett emailed me the other night to say that Shaden, Charlie, Tommy and Alfie, just want to make sure I've got the names right, um, came over without being asked to. Mrs. Barrett was doing a job. She was folding up some, uh, some, some old uniform. The three of them came up, four of them came up helped her without saying a word and just stood there with her in their playtimes to help her. So we were really proud of them. We've given them lots of fuss. So well done, well done to those children. Uh, we're going to hear from children from year two and year six about what they've been up to this week. And you know, I always look forward to that. So that's, that's going to be exciting to see what they've been doing this week. Um, I also would like to mention about school uniform. Uh, Coming come September, everybody needs to be wearing school uniform. We don't want to see any trainers in school. So you please must make sure that children come September are in the correct uniform. All, all those details are on the, on the website. Um, but that's a white a white shirt with a, obviously a blue jumper from foundation to year five or a purple jumper in year six and black or grey trousers and black shoes. Okay, it's really important that we set the right tone uh, and the children, it's all a part of, of being part of St Giles. Um, so please have a word with the children and make sure if they've got school shoes at home that they're wearing them now. And if not, that we make sure that we get that sorted ready for September. Any issues, as I've said before, come to speak to me or a member of the senior leadership team and we can see what we can do to help out. OK. Um, oh, oh, last thing for me, obviously, it's a big day on Sunday uh, for those of you that are football fans. Uh, now, what we're going to do on, on Monday, that we will be doing some things to do with football to celebrate that. Uh, but for every child that arrives on time, uh, they will get a, there will be some biscuits available for them. So every child that arrives on time is going to get a biscuit. OK, so get them into school. We realise that some of them might be tired. OK, we realise that they might be tired. Get them to school. They'll get a biscuit and we'll have a great day and they'll, they'll be doing some activities to do with the football on Monday. And fingers crossed, if you're an England fan, fingers crossed for an England win. OK, that's all from me. Have a wonderful weekend and I'll catch up with you all later. Thanks very much. Goodbye.